Again, welcome to Fundamentals in Computer and IT. In this lecture, we're going to cover the concept of how data and program are represented in a computer system. Our main objective is to understand how data and programs are represented to a computer and be able to identify a few of the coding system used to accomplish this. So normally in computer system, data are represented in a digital form, which is again, zero and ones. So the ways of representing data in a computer systems are zero, which means off, and one, which means on. So here we can see a diagram in the form of a, a switch. Zero means it's off, and one means it's on. So that's the way of representing zero and one. A binary computer only recognize two states, either off and on. Again, off is zero and on is one. So again, the coding normally are used to represent data and programs in a manner that must understood by the computer. So a digital computer can only understand two states, either off or on. Off represents zero and one represents on. And normally we use the term machine language. Machine language are binary number systems, zeros and, and zeros and ones. So the digital rep data representation is the process of representing data in a digital form so that it can be understood by a computer. So again, a computer language is binary number system, zero ones, zero ones. So example, a bit means a single digit, either zero or one. So a bit is the smallest unit of data that a binary computer can understand. That is a single one or zero. And normally data are stored in the form of a byte. So a one character stored in a data will have eight bits. Eight bits represent one byte. This is why if we go to a store to buy a storage device for a computer system, let's say a flash drive or a standard hard drive, the unit of it is in byte. For example, if I buy a flash drive, and the capacity of the flash drive is two gigabytes, it means it can store up to two billion characters or symbols or digits. Each unit of a character or symbol represents a byte in a computer system. So here we say a byte terminology is used to express the size of a document or other files, programs, storage devices. So example in the diagram here, we have one bit and eight bit represent one byte. Also we have abbreviation for K, B, M, B, which is kilobyte, megabyte, gigabyte, terabyte, et cetera. So the prefaces normally are often used to express the larger quantities of parts. Again, kilobyte, megabyte, gigabyte, terabyte, petabyte, exabyte, zettabyte, and yottabyte. So a binary number system, as we said earlier, is a way of representing numbers. And also we have a decimal number system, which normally use 10 symbols. We understand decimal number system. Uh, which represents digit from zero to nine. Binary number system is only two digits. So binary number system uses only two symbols, one and zero, to represent all the possible numbers. So in both system, the position of the digit will determine the power to which the base number, such as 10 or two is raised. And we shall see example. So the first example here in the diagram, we have a decimal number system, 7,216. The smallest unit is six, 
the next is one which is in 10th position then two is in the 100th position and seven is thousand position so normally to represent this data based on the position of each digit we start from the rightmost because that's the smallest unit six so to be 10 to the power zero then the next one will be one, so it will be 10 to the power one. Why we are using base 10? Because this is a decimal number system. We have 10 digits, so the base is 10. So seven will be 10 to the power three, which is thousand. So when we had all this, for example, the first six, it will be six times one, because 10 to the power zero is one. Then we have one times 10 to the power two, which is, I mean, sorry, 10 to the power one, which is 10. Then next, we have two times 10 to the power two. So it will be two times 100. Seven times 10 to the power three, which is 1,000. So we can see that when we had all the four digits, we get 7,216. The same concept also applied to binary number system. Here, for example, we have a binary number system 1001. 1001 represent nine. But again, we start with the base. The base is two because it's a binary number system. The rightmost value or digit is the smallest unit. So we start with the exponent zero. So we have two to the power zero, the next digit two to the power one, the next digit two to the power two, the next digit two to the power three. So the first, we have one times two to the power zero. That will be two to the power zero is one. So it will be one times one, which is one. Now we know zero times any value is zero. So two to the power one is two, two times zero is zero. Two to the power two is four, four times zero also is zero. Two to the power three is eight, eight times one is eight. So when we had one plus zero plus zero plus eight, we get nine. So this means the binary number one zero zero one represents nine. So in a computer system also, we have what we call the coding system for test-based data. The first standard coding system is called the America Standard Code for Information Interchange, or, or ASCII, ASCII coding system. So this is how data is represented in a computer system. For example, if I have zero, zero represents and the digit we have here, which is again eight digits, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. If I have a one, it represents the values. So this is a standard that we use in a computer system for converting values. For example, C represents 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. We also have another standard called the extended binary coded the smart interchange code. The difference between the two is that ASCII is up to 128 and EBCDIS have more, 256. And some of them cover universal one also we have, which cover other different language, such as Chinese language, Japanese language, etc. So the EBCDIS was developed by IBM, primarily for mainframe computers. And also we have the Unicode standard system, which is the newer code. It has 32 bit per character. So it's more, bigger. And also it covered many different languages. So universal coding standard designed to represent test-based data written in any ancient or modern languages. For example, we have Greek, Hebrew, Chinese, Etc. So this uh, Unicode has replaced the ASCII as the primary test coding system. This is why, again, we may have a computer and our keyboard, we can use it for English tests. Sometimes we can change it and use it for Japanese tests. This means the computer is using the Unicode. We have all the standard for most international languages. So the coding system for other types of data, we start with the graphic data. 
A graphic data is a still images such as photos or drawings. Also, it's a bitmap images. Now, the images of up of a grid of small dots is called the pixels. And normally, the pixels are more or less a dot. And also, we have what we call the monochrome graphic. A monochrome graphic can only have one of the two colors, either black or white. So this requires just one bit for a color storage. Also, image with more than two colors can use four, eight, or 24 bits to store the color data for each pixel. The, the pixel represents, again, a dot of an image, the smallest unit of an image. So the more bits you have, the more colors we can have, and the more image become very clear. So this is an example here. And the first one, we have a sample, one sample pixel, one, one, zero, which is system color image. Now the color of each pixel is represented using one half byte, which is four bits. The next one we have, again, one sample pixel, but this time is zero, 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 one, one, zero. So it's again, eight bits. So this represents 256 color image, which is with more colorful. Then the next one, we have more bits. Again, this represents 16.8 million colors. So again, representing graphic data with a bitmap images. So the color of each pixel is represented by bits. Now, as we can see this image, we can see much difference here. But again, the more bits used, the better the image quality. So we see the one with more bits have more different colors, and the image is have more quality. Also, we can represent data in a computer system uh, and audio data. So audio data must be in a digital form. Uh, most audio data are analogs, but Again, computer system, everything must be in digital for whether it's a graphic, audio, test, et cetera. So must be in a digital form in order to be stored on or processed by computer. Any data, any different types of data in order for a CPU or the computer processor to process the data, the data must be in again, digital form, a binary, or machine language form. So example would be MP3 files are 10 times smaller than their uncomplex digital version. Also it can be downloaded more quickly and take up less storage space. That's if you compress your data, often compress when sent over the internet. If I'm sending an audio message, even on a uh, graphic video message is good to compress it. When you compress any file system file, you automatically reduce the size of it. So sending it will be more faster or quicker. So video data, as we said earlier, displayed using collection of frames. And also each frame contains a still image. It's like a movie. A movie normally consists of thousands or millions of still images playing slowly. The amount of data can be again substantial, but also can be compressed to reduce the size. So as we said, machine language is the binary based language for representing computer programs. The computer can execute directly. So machine language consists of zero ones, zero ones. The computer understand it. So earlier programs were written in machine language. Today's program will be written in any language, for example, Java, Python, which looks like English language, but we have a special software that will translate it into machine language in order for the computer to understand it. So for example, we have a Java language. In Java language, I'm going to write the source code using the Java uh, development environment or the IDE, integrated development environment. 
Now, when I write the source code, I'm going to compile it. And the program must have what we call a Java virtual machine. When I compile it, I'm going to translate the source code in English to a byte code. This byte code must be run by the Java virtual machine to translate it to machine language in order to be executed by the computer. So again, computer always understand digital form of data, zero ones. So what is another way to say one million bytes? Here we say kilobytes, gigabytes, or megabytes. So the correct answer will be one megabyte is one million bytes. One gigabyte is one billion. Then one kilobyte is 1,000. Now, true or false, MP3 files are stored using zeros and ones. So our first answer is C, one megabyte. And uh, question, MP3 files are stored using zero and ones, and that is true. Must be understood by the computer, digital form. Then a binary numbering system is used by computers to perform mathematical computations. So that will be the conclusion of our lectures. Again, in these lectures, we learn how data are represented in a computer system. Also, different types of data, whether it's audio, uh, it's, uh, video, graphics, test mess, everything must be in a digital form, zero and one, also called the machine language. That's the only language the computer understands. So again, thank you. Uh, for your time and wish everybody the best.